Hey, it's Sam back here. Welcome to this video for Smart Social. Now, I'll be giving you a review of this software today. I've had the chance to go through and look at this software and find out exactly what it does so I can um, communicate that to you and you can make a decision as to whether this is something that might be good for your business. Now, down below, you'll find a number of bonuses that are available. Um, you'll also find some more information about this software if um, this video doesn't clarify everything for you. So, this is a software that allows you to create GIF videos that can be placed over Facebook. Now a lot of businesses right now are finding new and unique ways of posting over Facebook. Videos, um, you know, text, images, memes. One of the types of updates you can actually do over Facebook is a GIF image which people can click on and play. So what the software does is it allows you to research viral GIF images around the web and then it allows you to create your own GIF images through uh, based around videos that you have and then post them to your Facebook pages, schedule them in and, um, and hopefully as a result of that be able to engage your audience in a new and different way. Um, this software in itself will give you a unique type of post, unique style of post that you can post for businesses, and it might be another posting option to the many other posting options you might already be able to do. First of all, the research as to what's viral, what's what people are interested in, can be done with this software in the Facebook Spy. You can search through Teespring, you can search through GIFs and Custom. Because we're talking about GIFs, um, you know, you could create a GIF for a Teespring offer, you could create a GIF for your e-commerce offer, whatever it is, a custom, do a custom search as well if you wanted to. Uh, searching through GIFs is probably the most useful way of getting the information that you really want out of Facebook. And in order to do that, we search through GIFs, we might search through fitness GIFs, we might search through clothing GIFs based on what our page actually is, our Facebook page actually is. You'll see here, in doing this search, it comes up with a number of results here. And we can actually view these GIFs, GIFs and see what they look like. Now, in doing the search, we can actually see what a GIF looks like over Facebook. So you can see here, um, basically it's a little image that people can click on that will have this GIF around it. And then once we click on it, it will then play the message, right? So GIF, it will then play the message. And these are businesses, these are people that have found GIFs and have decided to play them. Some of them are viral, some of them are funny. Um, other ones are actual fitness GIFs where you can actually see them by clicking this GIF button right here. Now many of them are actually attached to this Giphy site, which is a website that helps also to, I think, I believe it's like a directory of GIFs. Cool, all right, there we have another one um, based around Pokemon. Uh, I think a thought-provoking one, <laughs> and we have um, uh, one here as well. Cool, so you get an idea of the types of GIFs that right now are on Facebook and are quite popular over Facebook. You could also search for order, um, you know, Teespring as well, so I could search for order and find people that are advertising order this shirt or, or you know, using order um, within their subject. We can have a look at the t-shirts that are out there right now around Teespring, and if you're a Teespring marketer, then this might be quite useful to find different posts that are around um, Teespring right now that are around the web. Okay, now we can also search through 9gag. We could again search through fitness on 9gag. 9gag, if you don't know about it, is one of the most viral and interesting websites. People that often open up 9gag are searching for various images and won't leave the site usually for a long period of time because there's some really funny posts on 9gag. There's also some really interesting posts. A lot of businesses do use 9gag for their marketing. Cool, so you can see here the range of different fitness posts that are on 9gag, and this might give you an idea if you're running a fitness page what people might be interested in. Cool. Now we can also do another search. We can also do Pinterest. Now Pinterest is becoming more and more popular. It is a really fast growing social network. The reason that is, is it gives people an opportunity to um, you know, post recipes, post um, their fitness um, information, training, uh, also a lot of clothing. People do actually shop through Pinterest. My wife, for example, does a lot of shopping through Pinterest. She'll, she belongs to a number of different pages and they'll post on a regular basis of different styles and she has a real interest in these pages styles and she'll actually make purchases based on what she finds through Pinterest. So we might find you know a shirt, search for shirts. Um, I find recipes through Pinterest. I enjoy finding recipes, interesting recipes. I found an interesting recipe the other day which we made for dinner um, as a result of going through Pinterest and I as a result of finding this on Pinterest, actually went ahead and liked this, uh, this, this group's page and have been following them. So um, as you can see here they've got some 
clothing, you can have a look at the clothing here. You can even repost it and reschedule it based on the search here as well. So this is basically our research we're doing here. We're getting a feel for what people are interested in on these different networks. Now we're into the GIF tools. Now the GIF tools is where you can create images, you can create GIFs, and you can create um, videos or, or GIFs from videos basically. First of all, this is your image creator. You can create an image for your GIF here. It might be a front image, it could be a back image. You can create new or you can upload one from your computer. And you can design very easily with the software. This um, design tool here, you've probably seen it before. It's actually a, a freely available, I believe, um, design software that can be used in software. And that's probably why you might have seen it in a number of different softwares. It's handy to use though, it's easy to use. And um, you, know, you can create the effects that you want through this. You can also upload images and edit those images through here as well. Okay, so the next thing you can do is you can actually grab images and turn them into GIFs as well. You can choose images here. Now the one piece of feedback that I have from this is that um, when you're doing this, uh, it's only going to allow you to use smaller images. You may need to convert your video uh, images in order to do this. So let's go and add in an image. I'm just going to add one image in for now and we'll see how this works and create a GIF out of it. So you can create, you could add, you know, 10 different GIF images here from different, uh, you know, places that you've taken photos. This one's from Altai, which is a few hours out from where I live right now. And um, we'll just use this one image as an example. So you could say, um, go here to to find out more so you could have a list of recipes you could have a list of um, different coffees you could have a list of different clothing um, doing highlight you could do a highlight of your website and then click next actually click previous and click create gif now it's created my gif here it is now you could combine this with multiple images I've only got one image here and that's why it's showing that and then we could say you know I'll tie gif gif save and publish It'll then publish it to a GIF website, which will allow me then to post from that GIF website um, onto uh, Facebook if I wanted to, view on Giphy, that's where it is. It's on this site Giphy, or I can download it. And you can see there it's downloaded, and I have my GIF. So you'd want to add multiple images to this if you're going to do this yourself. Now you can do video to GIF. So we'll go in here, we'll add in this URL, and then we could say start at one minute, and we could say, Duration is 10 seconds. So it'll take the GIF over 10 seconds here, and you could say, you know, um, add in your URL. And black font, yep, create GIF. So it's going to create a GIF image from this video. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time to process because it's a bit uh, larger, and it's actually going to search through the video in order to create this GIF. But once we've created this GIF, we'll then be able to go ahead and post it to Facebook. So We'll just wait for this to be created. It should take between, in my experience, between 30 seconds and one minute to complete, and then it will post and you'll see the GIF that will be posted down below. Okay, so now our GIF's been created. And you can see here, um, it's uh, chosen an inter interesting part of the video. Um, I believe this person's working out and looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> Not the most um, ideal video to have, uh, well maybe it is the most ideal video to have in a GIF because it's uh, you know the type of viral video that you'd usually see. So um, let's name this Fitness One and click Save and Publish. And as you can see here, it's taken that video and you can now post this as um, a video to social media and use it to promote you know, whatever you're promoting. Cool, once we've done that, we've saved it and published it, we can download this GIF now, and we can also view it on this place called Giphy. Uh, now this is the website which will allow you to post it to social media, and it's created this GIF image for you. We can go now to Schedule Post, we can click Add New, and we can now choose to schedule our post, our GIF in. Now this um, GIF here is downloading, it's about 10 megabytes large, you can always download these to your computer, and then we can type in a message, so are you ready for uh, Monday? You could say, um, you know, bodyforsummer.com slash 20 off Monday. And then we could put in a page which we want to post this to. Ideally, this would be a fitness page. Um, let's just put it on, uh, you know, uh, truth about burning fat loss foods. And you can then set a posting time when you'd like this to post. And then you can click schedule and it will schedule that into post. 
All right, so hopefully that gives you a good demonstration of what this software does. It's a gift posting software. If you need this for Facebook, this will help you to post these gifts to Facebook. Uh, if you feel like you um, you know have a software that'll do it, or you found an alternative to this, then um, you may not need this software, but I wanted to show you exactly what it does. So you can research, you can create GIFs, and then schedule posts into Facebook with Smart Social. Go down below, check out all of the bonuses that are available, and look forward to talking with you again soon. See you later.